you can do this one of the things and I've mentioned this before that I like to do is lay out my design and then take my phone and take a picture of it and another thing you can do is if you're mass producing something like this just lay out your design and go ahead and move it 
And then if you've got an extra piece, you can leave all of this on here and then pick out the, the lowest papers all the way up so that your layers are all correct. So there's a little quick tip. Okay, so here are these all done and dry and I made five of these for this botanical show I've got coming up in September. I do have four more of these frames sitting here so I'm probably going to go ahead and make nine total but I wanted to get this video out so if you wanted to make some real pretty little frames this summer you can do that this spring a couple of things too I put a canvas in here now these frames are from you can get them at Hobby Lobby Michaels you can probably get them online and they are we're looking at nine and a half to the outer edge by basically 11 and a half. Now the inner part is four and a half by six and a half is what you've got in here. So, um, and then of course the insert is five by seven. I put a five by seven inch canvas in here to see if this would work because I'm not sure how I'm gonna display these yet if I'm going to put mirrors if I'm going to paint a picture or if I'm going to do a layered fabric botanical thing which is the way I'm leaning on these so if you get these and you want to paint something for the inside I got these artist loft little five by seven panel boards at Michaels and they are pretty inexpensive so you've got that option if you want a canvas and then they come with these chipboard pieces already in them you can also get these frames with mirrors in them so you have a few options okay so let's go through them here this one came out I really like how they all came out this one I used um, quite a bit of Prima paper in this one and it's got the little uh, mannequin down here and postcard and the birds and the angels up top and then I just added a bunch of different scrapbook paper into these so there's that one I really like these stems with just the stamen blossom on it I don't know what happened with this flower but I really like how that came out and then I've got petals that you can barely see in here which I think adds to it and then these really bright and beautiful petals over here these ones are really fun too um, I use some map paper and some vintage scrapbooking paper and you can get I generally get my scrapbook paper packs at Hobby Lobby so I don't always keep track of everything I use because I'm pulling from so many different resources but I think this one came out really fun too and I did notice you want to watch out for this you have the option of hanging it either vertically or horizontally and I made a couple of these upside down whoops <laughs> so you're gonna want to guard against doing that 
There's number two. Here's number three. This one, I, these flowers are thicker than most of the other botanicals I have. And again, I got these at the grocery store and pressed them, and I'm not sure what they are, but um, it, it really does require two coats of Mod Podge matte for all of them. And I've been doing, like these have, isn't that bizarre? how these soaked in more than these, but I think it came out kind of neat. It's different. It adds interest. So, but uh, I, I just do a coat of glue, let it dry, and then do the second coat. And it really only takes maybe, I don't know, an hour to, for the first coat to dry. And then after I do the second coat, I leave them overnight to really seal up well. I'm excited about this show I've got coming up. It's kind of a ways away, so I'm, I'm getting a lot done really early because I would like to, for the first time in my life, doing a show, not be painting the night before everything goes up on display. <laughs> this time I am definitely going to be done early. So this one came out really pretty too. This is a little... Um, here it is right here. I used papers from this 6x6 six six paper pad and it's an Epiphany by Prima and I get these at Hobby Lobby. So this paper pack is really really fun. I'll flip through it real quick and show you. You get just beautiful little images and I really like the colors. They're very muted and subtle. You get a lot of grays and creams and black. This one's got some really nice um, writing and nice layers, the bird cages. Just really pretty little paper pack. And then it, you get these pages with all the script and the bird cages and the nests and birds and clocks. I've probably gone through like three of this exact pack right here. I just really love it. And these are so pretty because you can just tear a snip it off. They're really fun for making shabby chic bookmarks, which I have a video um, how I do that with all the little snippets of scrap paper. That's really fun if you want to check that out. And some really nice calm background paper. Here's the last one. So you can really make a nice little haul. And now this is a Prima. They don't really go on sale, the Prima, but you can use your 40% off coupon on those. So, you know, like I said, I never buy anything full price. So this one was fun. I actually, I think if I remember, I think I showed it in the video, I snapped this petal off to make this flower fit so you could still see this snippet of paper and I just threw the petal on there. I really like how the black came out on this one. I, I had a lot of fun. I always have a lot of fun making art. And then this one I just used scrapbook paper and I used one of my grungy um, sprayed papers that I made and I have a video on how to make these too. There, it's called grunge sprayed papers. So I will, now that I think of it, just go ahead and link the grunge sprayed papers and the vintage bookmark videos in the description of this video. So that's what I've got so far and if I make the other four I'll just make another video of those four. But you get the idea and now you can get started. And of course again it's still too early to go out and pick flowers for the most part but you can go to the grocery store. That's what I do. So the Cosmos I did pick last summer. Some, some stuff you just have to wait but I did pick up a bunch of seeds just a couple weeks ago and I picked up a couple starter trays so I'm gonna make some Cosmos, Johnny Jump Ups and uh, Pansies because they're already one-dimensional so I'm going to 
grow a bunch of those and then press them myself so I'll be looking excited about that and I will definitely make a video on that too okay well I hope you really enjoyed this and I hope you give it a shot it's really fun and these will last a very long time okay so have a great day and I will see you next time thanks